Hi, welcome to Chat Access. Today, I'm going to share with you an introduction, or rather, the functionality of Diva, your ultimate investment companion. A quick disclaimer: the following contents are to be taken for educational purpose only. This is not an advisory service or market prediction. Trading is a risky activity. Please check with your authorized broker for advice. Any form of photo, video, audio recording are strictly not allowed. All right, let's jump into the topic today. So first of all, in order to access to Diva Quam Box or the Diva Web version, you will need to have a browser. To launch a browser, make sure you have an internet connection and you just scan accordingly diva.chartnexus.com Alright, let me repeat diva, D-I-V-A dot chartnexus.com and key in your username and also password accordingly it will be the same as your existing chartnexus software so once you have logged in what you can see is this a list of uh, counters, the optimized result evaluated using the unique algorithm within Diva. Then uh, you can see on the right top corner, there's three pages in total. Dashboard, price chart, and also fundamental info or FA info. So these three pages, I'm going to go through one by one with you. So first of all, dashboard. From dashboard, you can see uh, for each counters, these are all those optimized counters. So you might see around 20 to 30 uh, counters from time to time. All right, there will be slight changes every time. Um, so for each counter, you can see there will be a FA button and also a price chart button. This is a shortcut whereby if I were to click on this uh, FA, let, let me click now, it will lead me to the page, which is the fun thing. As you can see, it will display the five-year historical financial data of a company. Or alternatively, if I were to click on the this price chart small button over here, it will lead me to the second page. All right, it will lead me to the second page, which is the price chart, whereby uh, I can access or I can look at the movement of the price of the recent movement of those counters. All right, so let's go back to dashboard. So putting the two handy feature aside, you can see I have a dividend yield tracker over here. All right, this dividend yield tracker. As you can see, there are three numbers. At the left corner, there will be 5.81. At the center is 6.58. At the right hand side will be 8.62%. All right, so what this one means and how we calculate, let me show you. So first of all, there will be three numbers. So at the left corner will be the lower U, which is calculated by using the last full year dividend. Say for example, if we assume, assume constant at 30 cents, so last year full year dividend 30 cents, divided by the 52 weeks high. Meaning we say, if I were to buy this stock, if I were to purchase these stocks at the highest point in the last one year, okay, I buy when it's the most expensive. I'm going to get a dividend yield of 5%. All right. On the other hand, 7.5, how we calculate this is the higher yield, which is the upper boundary. So how we calculate is same thing. We use the last full year dividend, which we assume constant at 30 cent, divided by the 52 weeks low, meaning to say the 52 weeks, the lowest price within one year, within the past one year. Say we assume at four ringgit, so 30 cent divided by 4 ringgit, you will get a dividend yield of 7.5%. So lower boundary, which I purchase at the most expensive price, will be 5%. If I were to purchase at the lowest price within this last one year, will be 7.5%. So this is my possible range. All right. So by no knowing this boundary already, what we do next is this center figure, this green bar over here. Okay, it's more towards the center because 6 is between 5 and 7.5. Alright, this is the current yield. How we calculate current yield will be the same. We take the full year dividend of that we assume constant, 30 cents, divided by the last close, which is the last closing price of today. Alright, the last closing price, say it's 5 ringgit. 
So if I were to purchase this stock at 5 ringgit, my full year dividend will be 6%. It will be 6%. All right. So as you can see, it's at the center. The price now 5 ringgit is not towards the low, which is 4 ringgit, which can make me a 7.5% U, nor it's near to the historical high. I mean, the past one year, 52 weeks high of 6 ringgit. It's at the center. So as you can see, the green bar is at the center. If the green bar moves towards the right hand side, all right, meaning to say the price is getting lower, it's nearer to the 52 weeks low. Okay, so this will give an idea to you, all right, when you look through all these uh, counters over here. When you look at the green bar, you have an idea how is the price performance recently uh, relative to their recent one year price movement. So if you see the green bar is nearer to the left hand side. Meaning to say, it's nearer to the 52 weeks high. If the green bar is nearer to the right hand side, it's nearer to the 52 weeks low. Alright, so you have an idea. If I were to purchase this counter, the range is around, for the past one year, the range is around 5.8 to 8.6. And if I were to purchase according to the last closing, I will get the dividend yield at around 6.58%. Alright, so this is the function of dividend yield tracker. Let's move on to the right hand side, which is at the center, right at the center of this uh, Diva platform. You can see there will be four health check dividend health check, operation health check, liquidity health check, and also debt health check. So, for each health check, you can see it's quite colorful. Okay. There will be dark green, light green, yellow, and red. And as you can see, we purposely put in the layman term so that you understand a splendid dividend. A plenty of liquidity, all right. In order to uh, give you a better understanding, let me cast a light on this one. So, this is the ranking of each health check, as you can see dividend, operation, liquidity, and depth. So, the color will be all the same, all right. It's consistent. Dark green will be the best, light green is good. Then, we will have a uh, yellow. Right, then we have a uh, yellow, which is uh, average or below average, and last but not least, a uh, red color, which is low. All right, so as you can see, most of them the term is the same for dividend health check. We have a uh, splendid being the best, high above average, average below average, and low for operation. You will be excellent, then high above average, average below average, low. So for liquidity, liquidity we talk about cash flow, we talk about money, we talk about cash. So we use the term plenty as you can see over here, plenty. So after plenty, the rest will be the same, so on and so forth. All right. So last but not least will be the debt health check. No debt, low debt will be the best, defensive, average, and last but not least, high debt. Okay. So when you look at all this, uh, there will be two ways for you to look at it. First, you can look at the color. It can help you better in a glance you understand or secondly you can look at it layman term which we use inside is very easy to understand plenty plenty of cash excellent excellent business splendid splendid dividend no debt low debt all right defensive meaning you say it's not aggressive high debt being high debt all right so let's go back to our platform Okay, so quickly, I've already go through the whole bar with you, which is the those 20 to 30 optimized or the excellent company evaluated by Diva. Then we have the two handy function, the fundamental function, the price chart function, which can lead you to the third page and also the second page quickly. All right. Uh, then uh, I have the dividend new tracker, which show you the progress, all right, or help you to keep track of the you of a company. Then uh, for the past one year, then will be the health check feature, dividend health check, operation, liquidity, and debt. So as you can see, for each health check, dividend health check, operation, it's linked towards two mini charts at the right hand side here. When I click on turbo, you can see dividend health check, we use two metrics, which is dividend U. I mean, dividend health check, we use dividend U and dividend payout ratio. Scroll down a little bit. For operation, we are using revenue and also net income. For liquidity, another two. And for debt health check, we will have another two metrics. So let's go through one by one. 
So dividend yield, okay, perhaps I will show you the formula. So for dividend health share, we have dividend yield, dividend payout ratio. Dividend yield is simple. You take dividend per share divided by price. Meaning you say price will be your cost, how much you pay. Say for example, one ringgit. Dividend per share, perhaps you get five cent. So they will make you a 5% of dividend yield. All right, that is your percentage of return in turn of your dividend. So dividend is one thing. You don't want this to be too low. If it's a two three percent, perhaps uh, not so attractive. Or uh, if it's six seven percent, perhaps quite good. All right, but if it's above, you might want to be conscious as well. All right, ten percent, eleven percent, that one will be too, perhaps too good to be true. All right. So the next thing that I want to look at is the dividend payout ratio. Dividend payout ratio formula being dividend per share divided by their earning per share. Meaning you say, if a company is earning, they are paying you how many percent out of their earning as dividend. If they earn 10 ringgit, they pay you 5 ringgit. That is 50% payout ratio. They pay you 50% of their earnings. So if they are paying you, say for example, 100% or 200% meaning you say they pay you more than what they earn in order to sustain a high dividend yield then you might want to be careful because the high dividend yield might not be sustainable all right so this is the two metrics used for dividend health check next we will have a uh, operation health check which look at the revenue and also net income operation health check which look at the revenue as you can see here and also net income all right so revenue pretty simple is the sales the amount coming in uh revenue you can calculate by using pretty simple it's actually the volume times the price okay these two factors what is the quantity what is the price okay if they sell more quantity at a higher price of course the revenue will be going up okay then from the revenue, a business will incur some costs. They will incur expenses. They will need to pay their employ employees. They will need to pay their creditors. So after paying all this, the amount that is left, we call it profit. We call it the net income. Okay. So from here, you can easily glance through and understand how is the fluctuation or how is the growth of a company. Is it deteriorating? Is it growing? All right. So to determine whether the business is good or not. All right. So this is the revenue and net income. Moving forward, the third health check, we have a liquidity health check, which you can look into these two components or metrics rather metrics. Will be quick ratio and operating cash flow ratio. Okay, so the formula is simple. Quick ratio current asset minus inventory. Current asset minus inventory divided by current liability. Pretty simple. It means that current asset, how much money that you have okay to cover your liability your current liability a simple example will be if you have a credit card it's due already you have to pay say for example 1000 and your current asset you have 10,000 you have 10 times more money than you need then you are liquid you got a cash cash is king all right so we use this quick ratio to access a company liquidity then the second one being operating cash flow ratio this will be slightly more stringent. We use a cash flow from operation divided by current liability. So a brief one, cash flow, we have uh, operation cash, cash flow, investing and uh, financing. There will be three types. So by merely hearing at the name, you know, operation is uh, actually the uh, amount of money that include the, the, the business. Like for example, their working capital, how the money flow, whether they have the money or not. So a yes stick. Quick ratio, if it's uh, it can cover, say for example, one hundred percent or one times or two times, it will be okay. All right. Operating cash flow will be slightly more stringent. It depends on a different kind of uh, business nature and all those. But uh, if it can exceed one times, should be okay. That is the yes tick. So last but not least, we will have a debt health check, which look into debt to equity and capitalization ratio. We will look into these two things, all right, these two metrics. So again, uh, by looking at the last two row, you can see the debt to equity is simple. You can take total liability divided by total equity, all right? But uh, 
some might be arguing that uh, there will be different kind of formula but uh, from my point of view as long as you understand the input okay being if you want to be more stringent say for example you don't want to use total liability you merely want to use uh, the current debt plus or non-current debt all right you can do so the only thing that you need to understand that uh, that formula that you are using will be more stringent okay that is all and when you compare of course you have to use the same company or maybe better within the same industry having the same business structure and all those all right so my point over here is there will be different kind of a formula for the same uh i mean there will be different kind of input for different kind of uh, formula right it all depends it all boils down to you have to understand what is the input all right pretty simple total liability divided by total equity a simple one there will be the debt to equity you can access the debt structure how many percent uh when you compare okay how many percent is liability how many percent is uh, equity all right in the term of ratio and the last one will be capitalization ratio this one look at the long-term debt divided by long-term debt plus shareholder equity or capital also can all right so this one we look into the structure of a company the capital structure how many percent is long-term debt how read how much they rely on long-term debt if you were to see a company with capitalization ratio is zero percent it simply means that the company got no long-term debt okay no long-term debt so this kind of company they are more defensive okay they are more defensive they are not so aggressively borrowing money so quickly i've already gone th go through all the eight mini charts or rather the eight metrics that support all those four health check okay all those for health check so if you were to look into all these uh adapt to equity and all this okay uh, if you are not a chart person, you couldn't look at the graph nicely. So what we have down here is a table for, for your reference. So when I click around, when I talk around capitalization ratio, as you can see, it change. The counter will be here. All right. Later on, I will make some exam. I will, I will show you some example of uh, multiple counters for you to do some comparison. But uh, first, let me go back to this uh, dividend health check and uh, tracker this health check over here. Okay. So what you can do is uh, just now I told you about the cat categorization, high, splendid, you know, plenty, excellent, no debt, low debt, low, low debt. All right. So what you can do over here is we provide you the sorting function. Say if I were to click on the help check, I can further sort these counters, these optimized counters according to their performance, like dividend performance, splendid, high. Then I sort the operation excellent high above average then i have a average below average all right same goes for liquidity and also that health check if i were to scroll down that you can see defensive then uh, average then it will be high debt all right okay so what about dividend you tracker yes you can sort this one as well click on it you just need to click on the header okay uh, you can see this is an ascending order if you want descending you just click once more okay so you just need to scroll then you can see how is the performance according to the last closing price and assuming the last full year dividend is constant okay so quickly i go through all this so what you can do is uh at the center here you can see there's a single versus try to click on that when you toggle around you can see that uh, you can select maximum up to three counters okay to compare maximum up to three counters to compare so you can see there will be three lines three bars at the right hand side at all those mini charts all right so when you go through uh how can you see this uh you see the highest revenue being the yellow color all right uh you which one is the higher you can you can you can compare all right cash who has the strongest cash flow and the long-term debt who got debt who doesn't have debt all right SEGM over here is mere three percent only lah. so it's not that high for the other two they don't have uh, much debt all right so this is the function of versus or single you can compare so in a glance you will know or oh, within these three which actually have a strongest cash flow which actually has a higher U which actually get a more conservative or more defensive kind of a depth structure right so i change back to single okay for easier viewing 
all right okay so let's look into this uh, quickly I've gone through most of the function here uh, two more things to go one is the screening scope over here this is a final button all right final button one it will be the search top okay perhaps I will go for the final button first lah. I click on this button there'll be a pop-up all right this pop-up uh, I can key in any figures all right and key in any figures say for example just now maybe I put uh, 3% or maybe 4% 3 years meaning you say I'm looking for a counter which fulfill this criteria at least 4% dividend you do for the past 3 years every year have to meet at least 4% you get what I'm saying all right so 4% 3 year every year okay then uh, you can add in others as well profit growth or revenue growth maybe you put 10% for the past 2 years then maybe you can put in profit growth 10% for the past 2 years so you can combine you see you can combine then you see there will be a market cap if you want a bigger counter which is uh, maybe blue chips all right then uh, PE ratio all right PE ratio will be slightly different compared to the metrics on top you see on top the criteria will be at least 4% at least 4% for 3 years but for PE it will be maximum meaning you say if I were to put 10 PE PE 10 for the last 2 years meaning you say the highest the PE should be 10 it shouldn't exceed if it exceed it won't show you get what I'm saying so for the metrics on top the criteria will be at least for PE ratio, upside down, it will be maximum is 10. All right, it must be lower than 10. You get what I'm saying? All right, so you can screen all this. Uh, there will be a handy function over here, reset. Then it will set to all zero. By default, it's all zero. Meaning to say, if I were to screen now, it will show me all counters because there's no filter applied. All right. Okay, maybe I put in back some figures. Uh, 3% maybe for two years. Uh, revenue or profit also can I put 10% for the last two years all right then I click screen so you go through all those counters all right on the flight you will go to our server find all those counters that fulfill the criteria uh, and here's the result as you can see those counters that fulfill the criteria will be a uh, Cisanic, Uchitech, Oka, Homrix, Sikom all right and so on and so far as a GM I have Rexit, Lehan okay uh, Dufu UPA. So this is how you can utilize. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, so this will be the formula. Uh, pardon me. All right. So now I'm going to go back to the dashboard. Uh, just give me a second. Of this PowerPoint slide first. okay sorry take some time okay so now i'm back to the dashboard already okay now i'm back to the dashboard so what i can do is uh the last function just now i demonstrate to you the screen function right the screen function so now i'll go to the search stop this one this bar over here the function of this is uh i can search the counter all right if i don't want to look at the optimized result right if I'm not interested in the optimized result, so what I can do over here is I can search for the counter that I want. Hexa, for example, 3298 or 1155 Maybank. Okay. Or uh, Britech, 0011. Okay. Or uh, Hongyuan, maybe. Hongyuan. All right. So all this counter, although it's not in the optimized list, all right, although it's not in the optimized list, what you can do is you can search from the search bar and click on that. All right, and click on that so that counter will be displayed inside okay those counter will be displayed inside so you can retrieve all those information and look at the half check you can look at their mini charts so this is the search stop function all right then uh, I'll quickly move on to price chart and fundamental info it will be a quick one because uh, it's very simple to, to navigate 
So first of all will be the search talk function. So first of all, under this globe, I will select Busa Malaysia. Then I will go for like Hungarian, for example. Click enter. So let the chart load for a while. And there you go. Okay. So this is the chart of Hungarian. So just now I've already zoomed out by clicking right click on the chart. So if I were to zoom in, I just need to highlight from left to right and let go. So now you have a highlight, highlight further, you see, left to right, and then let go. Or alternatively, you can see there will be this uh, zoom out, zoom in button on top. Let me show you. Yes, this one. All right, all good. And you can search for other counter again, hexa, for example. Click enter. So this will be the chart. Okay. All right. Moving on to the left hand side, you can see under stock listing, uh, you can also on the this one, the top volume, the percentage gain, uh, the high top gain and top loser. Then uh, you can find counter using the alphabetical order. All right. Next, moving on, I'll click on these indicators below. Let it expand. Okay. Uh, from here, you can see moving average. You can on those indicators each moku. All right. Then you can on a stochastic. All right. So all this will be available inside the Diwa platform. Second page price chart indicators. Okay. In case you want to toggle, all right. I mean, in case you want to configure, you can change the value of all those indicators. Moving average, if you want to choose five exponential, you just apply. All right. You just apply to it. Then it will reflect in the chart already. Let me show you. That there, there you go. EMA five red color. Okay. So if you want to reset everything, just click on left bottom corner, reset to default parameters. Okay. Uh, you see the moving average gone back to the default twenty. Simple moving average already. Okay. So let me off this indicator. Let me off everything. Another function will be those drawing tools. All right. If you want to mark at one one one, you can do so. If you want to draw like rectangular to maybe some 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 strategies like Darwin's box and all those, you can do so. All right. Or alternatively, you can erase everything using this button over here. Erase. Okay. Then everything will be erased. All right. So quickly, I'll move on to the last page will be the fundamental info. But instead of clicking on this fundamental info at the right top corner, I will have this function, this uh, shortcut button over here. Just click on this because I want to have this hexa shown inside the chart. As you can see, hexa is over here. All right, moment. Okay. As you can see, hexa is here already. Price to earning for the past five years, return on equity, return on investor capital, everything will be in. Income statement, balance sheet, cash flow. Okay. Uh, and you can select up to three counters as usual. Three counters to compare. Hexa, Hungarian, Lihan, what is the PE ratio? How much is that? All right. In case you think that this is too complicated, so what you can do is click on this star button. All right. Let me do this again. Maybe a little bit too fast. At the right top corner, at the right top corner, this star button, click on that. Then there will be this pop up. From this pop up, you can name your template. Say, for example, um, Diva demonstration. All right. So when I click on this one, Diva demonstration, what I can do is, you see, I have selected dividend per share, dividend payout ratio, dividend yield, everything to do with dividend, total cash dividend paid. Then I will save. You see, template safe. Okay, so I will close this one. Below this uh, drop down, I will have the Diva demonstration. Click on that Diva demonstration. As you can see, dividend per share, dividend yield, dividend payout ratio, those dividend related metrics that I've selected will be image on top. Okay, will be image on top. Well, the rest will be still below the metrics, the income statement, the balance sheet uh, metrics. All right. So this one is for easy viewing. Okay. So you can select up to three counters. Oh. All right. So basically, uh, this is all the functions. Okay. I uh, hope you learned something from here. 
on how uh, the functionality of DVOP. Okay, basically, to reiterate from the first page, you can search the stocks, you can look at the optimized list by default, you can do a screening scope, and for each health check, you can sort for the dividend yield tracker, you can trace the latest one year performance, dividend yield, the metrics. There will be eight metrics for you. The price chart, which is the second page, which is now what you are looking at, you can go for all those historical price. You can apply the indicators, it's very handy, everything is inside. The fundamental info allows you to access to the five years historical financial data of companies, and you can do comparison as well. Last but not least, you can customize your own template. You can customize your own template. So that is all uh, on my sharing today. Hope you benefited from this. Uh, enjoy using Diva and enjoy your day. Thank you very much.